Thank you, Rush. Uh, I want to applaud you for your national leadership of the AAAS. I was on the committee that hard rushed, so I can, I can brag a little bit. It's a great honor to be selected for the 2017 Raymond and Beverly Sacker Award for Sustained Leadership. Uh, it is a particular honor to share this stage with the other winners uh, this evening. A particular pleasure is to uh, share this recognition with Raymond and Beverly Sacker's sponsorship, as they have been long-term friends and collaborators with me and others in raising the importance of convergence in the future of biomedical science. It's, an e it's a pleasure this evening to share with our grandson, Jonathan, and his wife, Mary, uh, who are with us tonight, and with her son, Miles Sackler, and uh, guest, Molly Johnson. Also at the table with us tonight is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Burke Nita Rosen, representing Purdue Pharma. As you know, I've been a faculty member at MIT and an investigator in the wonderful Koch Institute for Integrated Cancer Research. This institute is led by Tyler Jacks and his team and embodies the convergence of engineering and cancer research. Encouragingly across the country now and in federal initiatives such as the Brain Initiative and the Cancer Moonshot Convergence of Engineering, Physical and Computer Science with life science research is becoming an increasingly high priority. This is essential to enable a future of better quality health care at an affordable cost. I don't see any other way of solving that issue. I also want to thank my family and my wife and extended family for support why I work in terms of uh, leadership. If it wasn't for their understanding, I could not be doing this. Personally, one of the most enjoyable aspects of my involvement in promoting research is collaborations with outstanding people and organizations. In national leadership, collaboration with colleagues at MIT and at the academies, at the AAAS, Stand Up to Cancer, the National Institute, and the NCI have been highly rewarding. And in the private sector, collaborations with biotech companies such as Biogen and Anilum and other organizations have also been a, a very important part of engagement in science. Finally, I want to mention uh, a comment from Laura Siskin. Lauren Siskin was one of the founders of Stand Up to Cancer, a very important person in that organization. And she kept saying, remember, Phil, culture eats strategy for lunch. Let's say this again. Culture eats strategy for lunch. The right culture will find the right strategy, while a bad culture will destroy a good strategy. I close by thanking Research America and the AAAS and Stand Up to Cancer and all the other organizations I mentioned for their hard work in creating the right culture for research in this country. Thank you. <laughs>